shield, FedEx. Okay, Garmin. Save video. So I am on exit 104 to Biggs Junction in Oregon, and this is our current situation. I'm at the line because I could not fit my truck on the other side of the intersection. There were already like six trucks. So I stop, bunch of people off the exit start turning. They block the intersection. People start trying to go that way to get back on I-84. But these dum-dums behind me, see them? Because I've been waiting for the room to open up. They've blocked off the intersection behind me, which means they can't go anywhere, which means he can't go anywhere, which means I'm stuck and everybody coming off the exit is now stuck and we're already backing up I-84 all the way off the exit. Shame on the mess. Shame on the mess. Welcome to this week's edition of Bonehead Truckers of the Week. This is a place we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hey, guess what? February is almost over. You know what that means? Next month is March. It's going to get warm. All right. More flip flops. All right. But don't wear them. <laughs> and we got the truck show next month. Mid-American trucking show. How many of you guys going to go? I'll go. Look for me. I'm beautiful. All right. Hey, uh, TRC Freight will be there. All right. Hey, if you're looking for a good trucking job and they got company drivers coming up, especially if you live in Oklahoma, trcandme.com. If you live in Oklahoma right now, go to the description and put in an app. All right. If you live in Oklahoma, because they got uh, company drivers, all that stuff uh, about to happen. So be one of the first. They only have a few positions. What are you doing there, Flatbedder? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, why, why, why do people get in this situation? Doggone flatbedders. Hey, uh, at the end of this video, I actually filmed a flatbedder in my neighborhood. So watch at the end of the video here. I kind of go on a little bit of a rant, not too much. I didn't go too bad on the guy. Oh man, here we go. Nice foggy morning, trying to, and then you got some freaking retard, uh, sorry, uh, guy, uh, g doing a freaking, you turn sorry if i offended you then I, I don't know this is bonehead truckers that's what we do we offend here okay uh freaking no swifty swift i did a separate video last week on this i just figured i'd put this on here because how could you not put swifty swift at least this one on bonehead truckers oh jeez, how do you get in a situation like that you can't back out of it either like he's stuck you got his flip-flops on. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you Crocs people. Oh, I don't wear flip-flops. I wear Crocs. You know what? To me, they're the same stinking thing. They ain't shoes. Listen, put on some tennis shoes. I ain't, I ain't like, putting on work boots. You put on some shoes. You don't need wee work boots to go do that. But dress professional. I'm just saying. All right, look at this old Swifty Swift. Oh, Swifty Swift over here. Oh man, swing wide, it's a freaking trailer. We sell the shirts on boneheadtruckers.com. That's what we do. That's right, that is what we do. Oh man, you, you, you're in a bad situation now. Hopefully you still have your job. Oh, oh shame on the mess. Boneheadtruckers.com, that's a swing wide, it's a freaking trailer. That's a shirt right there on the left. Bomb, we got plenty. All right, I'm just saying. Oh no, this is not good. Whenever you hear ding, 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 and trucks. Now that arm goes down and this driver's freaking out. Uh, just go, it. That, that train's coming. That train's coming, just back off, back oh, out, no. back out of it. No, back oh, no. out, back out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, just get back. Uh, well, it's about too late. Yeah, run. Run! Run for your life! Oh, shame on the mess. Oh, man. Common sense? Just ain't got it, dude. Just ain't got it. Man, you got freaking this guy. I, I, I would say he's swing wide, but 
I guess you don't have to because you ain't got a freaking trailer. Uh, hey, by the way, before I forget, uh, you, if you got videos and clips you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. I didn't really put a thing in here, a little clip on there like I usually do, so contact at boneheadtruckers.com, okay? Contact at boneheadtruckers.com. What are you doing there, driver? That's not how you do it there, truck driver. That's not how you do it. Oh, man. That's a terrible situation. Watch this next clip of this old fella just driving all over the road, just losing crap. I don't even know. They gum flat batters. What's with you flat batters this week? Y'all just lost all y'all's money. Looks like you lost a tire. That's what happened. You lost a freaking tire. Ah, oh, dude. Contact at Bonehead Truckers for clips, okay? Jesus Christ! Airborne truckers, I'm telling you. Part of that flip-flop renegade. So we all let this guy know the real truck drivers don't wear flip-flops. <laughs> You're gonna be on boat at truckers, brother! Jeez, looked outside. I see this. Yeah, doggone, where'd it go? There it is. I wonder if this guy's lost. He turned down the wrong daggone road. This is a no outlet type of situation. Let's see, he just set his brakes. Sorry, I'm a little closer. getting out. See his door opening. What's he going to do? What's he looking around? He's looking around. Where, where do I go? Where do I go? There he is. Is he going to take a leak? Oh my gosh. Is that a place to take a leak? You're in a freaking neighborhood. But okay, I take a leak all the time, but this is my yard. But he's taking a leak. Kind of hard to tell if the trees is kind of far away. I did took a leak right there. He's not walking around. Hang on. So I drove up to this guy, and sorry that I don't have the audio on the freaking dash cam. I don't even know why I don't have the audio, because I was talking to him. So I'm doing a voiceover, doggone. So I drove up to this guy. I was like, hey, where, where, where are you trying to get to? This is not This is a, like a no outlet. All you got is, is freaking houses. He's like, well, I got to go to this place called As. Uh, he had like stone and stuff. I'm like, you ain't going this place, and that's why on the other side of Dagon Town. Doggone, this ain't no galvanizing plant around here. What are you doing here? I guess he followed his GPS, but even the GPS wouldn't take you down here. Anyway, he comes over here and says, hey, I just follow you. Why are you going into a freaking residential area? That's why I'm sitting here trying to figure out. So the point of this, me doing this, is I gotta get on my little soapbox here. It's like, when, when, when you got a delivery or a pickup, don't you guys go and research where you're going? Don't you guys go and look at it on like Google Earth and say, okay, this is where trucks need to go in. I led him all the way to the place and it ain't no neighborhood. I'll show you where it's at. I mean, but like when you get a load, I'm like, go down in the neighborhood. Why are you going down in the freaking neighborhood? That doesn't sound very fun at all. 
doggone. As a matter of fact, the place is right over here, just to the left. Right over here, and it's easy for a freaking truck to get into. You know, right there, that place right there on the left. See, as A Z Z, it's a galvanizing place. Just turn right up in there, and they unload you. Like, why, why are you going into a freaking residential area? Because you didn't do your daggum homework. I mean, listen, I love GPS, that they're a great handy tool, but so there should be red flags when you're in a freaking neighborhood. Just stop. <laughs> do more research and don't rely on your GPS for crying out loud. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, Bonehead Truckers is now partnered with freaking truckstop.com. What is truckstop.com? Well, it's a load board with a lot of other tools that come with it to save you money, to make you money, all this kind of stuff, okay? All this, and listen, load board, I, I was talking to my guy over at TRC Freight. He was like, man, truck stop, that load board has like the best freaking flatbed loads. They just do. So, I mean, if you're a flatbedder especially, I mean, you got all these other ones, but especially if you're a flatbedder, you need this, right? They have all the tools. So, if you click the link I have in the description, I can save you $149 for your first month. First month for free to check it out. Hey, that's all you have to do is go check it out and click the link. All right, so truckstop.com. Hit the link in the description. Save you some money. Make you some money. It's a win-win for all of us.